Hey guys, welcome to Codex Solution. Hope you are all doing well. Today I have an interesting video for all of you regarding the R language setup. You don't need to install any kind of R Studio in your laptop or any other software. You can just you uh, you just need to have one uh, Gmail account and you can use the Google Colab which is already available uh, with the Gmail account setup. So this is basically the uh, Colab setup and I have one notebook ready for you uh, and I will share its link in the description so that you guys can also use this. And firstly, uh, you need to click on this link, uh, reconnect button and it will be connected. And here you can see that it is basically uh, uh, connecting. Uh, once it is done, you will see that uh, here RAM and disk like interface and now it is being connected. So uh, you ne just need to know before that like Colab is for the Python, but how can you use it for the R language? Don't worry, I will tell you today about this thing. Firstly, you need to install one package and remember one thing, this is very important thing. You need to install this version. Like if you install the updated version of RPY2, and it will give you some error. So just make sure to install this version and it will work fine. So install this, uh, for installing this package, you just need to uh, uh, go to this cell and just play, uh, click on this button, run cell. And here you can see that it is being basically downloaded and it will install automatically. You can see that how simple it is to install any library in this interface. After that, you need to activate the R magic cell. After this only, Colab will be able to know that there is somehow uh, something R happening in the, in the interface using the R language. So for that, just uh, go and run this cell and it will activate the R magic cell for us. So here it is basically the just simple print statement using R language and we can see that uh, how it is working. Yeah, you can see that it is working and you will be surprised to know less that like what this percentage percentage R is, this is doing here. This is not any R language code syntax or things like that. And I'll tell you about this, what it is. And it is very important in Google Colab. If you don't write percentage percentage R, it will not compile R language code. Let's see. This is another simple and very basic R language code for using for loop. And here you can see that it is working perfectly. So let's do one quick experiment. Like if we don't use this percentage percentage R, and how will it ha happen or how will it react? Here you can see that it gives some error and it says like illegal target for annotation. That means it is expecting this thing for Python and there is no any kind of syntax in the Python language. So if you want to use it uh, or consider it as a R language program, you need to use this percentage percentage R in every cell. Only then it will able to know that this is basically the R language code. So this is very basic quick uh, setup of uh, R language using the Google Colab. And uh, in the future videos, I will tell you how you can use these, uh, this setup and that this interface to develop your own AI bot or own chat, chat GPT based uh, bot. So don't forget to who subscribe our channel or uh, like the this video so that you will uh, be able to stay tuned for the next video related to the chatbot and before ending this video let's uh, give you an example like how you can open this uh, collab or this interface uh, you just need to go to your google drive and here this is basically my google drive and just uh, in any folder or here I have created one folder named YouTube which is empty right now and I will right click in the uh, this folder and go to this more button and here you can see that Google Colab. 
uh, just click on this and you can see that uh, after some time we will have uh, the Google Colab interface opened in front of us. That's all. If you want to add more cell, you can do that. And if you want to add uh, some text, just like the R markdown cell, you can add uh, like things like this. And this is basically the basic overview of the interface. And you can see that here in the same folder we, uh, before it was empty and now we have one file. You can just open it and uh, play with it. And that's all for today. Thank you.